hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's ty twin and i'm back at it again with another flight attendant video now i've been on like a binge of editing videos hold on my arm's going off and what i've come to notice like from the past couple videos i've uploaded and the couple that i just got done editing and i've been noticing this but it's like getting excessive at this point i complain so much guys like so so much i complain so much and it's like girl calm down chill out like we understand some things can be better we get that we understand but you can't just harp on everything that's bad about the job or the company or things like that so this video is dedicated to glamorizing the lifestyle that I have as a fly sitting. However, let me get this one complaint out real quick. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll go into glamorizing, okay? So y'all, the sign in, I'm on reserve this month, which means I'm on call and I don't have my schedule prior to the month before, a couple days before. Like I find out the day of or the day before what trip I'm going on as a reserve flight in it. However, I bid for this trip because I knew if I didn't, I would get something super crappy because there's like no good trips at all right now. Everything is super unappealing. So I was like, okay, this trip is decent, which it is, it's a really good trip, I think. It's not that hard, I think. And also it gets back super early on the last day. So we love that, okay? Y'all, I bid for it. I got it yesterday around 3.40, 4 o'clock p.m. Y'all, I could not sleep. My sign-in is at 4 a.m. Now, if you know, because you've been here before, I'm sure, when I have a sign-in up early, or period, I, I usually wake up two hours prior to my sign-in. I leave an hour before the sign-in to head to the airport, which means the sign-in is at 4. It's 2 o'clock. I woke up this morning probably around like 8. I woke up yesterday around 8 a.m. maybe. Fell back asleep until 10. So we're going on a 24 hour day today. Like it, we're, we're gonna be up for 24 hours cause we're not supposed to make it to my layover today until 12 30, one o'clock. So homegirl's gonna be tired. So I'm about to go make me some coffee. I do have eye patches on my eyes right now. My eyes do look kind of swollen, not swollen, but red cause I haven't slept. <laughs> I can't get my brain to stop talking to me guys. It would not stop talking and I can not doze off. And I was in bed early too. Neither here or there, we're gonna make us some coffee. The time is currently 2.02. .02. And as part of glamorizing my lifestyle, I have to look glamorous as a flight attendant because flight attendants can be very glamorous. So, I will see you all at the airport as a glamorous flight attendant, okay? All right. All right, guys. So, I never told y'all what I'm doing today. We have gone from Dallas to Charlotte, the first flight out, and now we're about to do Charlotte to San Antonio, and we'll get there by 12.30, and I love that. So that's a great part about the job. You start early, you finish early, and I'm off, and I can do whatever I want for the rest of the day, and I'm still getting paid technically, so we love that. I'm gonna go ahead and shut y'all down though, because I have to get the gallery ready. I'm position one. I'll pick y'all up when I get to San Antonio. Hi guys, so I made it ugh, to the hotel. Honestly, the more I have an attitude or the more delirious I am, I didn't have an attitude today at all whatsoever, but I will say I was very delirious. And I mean, like delirious and a good mood delirious though, because I know it's coming, the bed is coming. The better service I do, like it's crazy. I ended up getting a $20 tip. Some lady also ended up writing me a note. It says, you're great. And on the back side, it says, the greatness I see in you is strength, joy, love, and patience. Like she meant patience, like you're patient, but she put patient like the people at the hospital who need to seek help, medical help. <laughs> I'm tired, that's so funny. But yeah, it's such a nice note and I appreciate it. Yeah, y'all, today was a day. We went from Dallas to Charlotte. We had the very first flight out of Dallas this morning and, or no, well yeah, one of the first flights, but the very first flight out of Dallas to Charlotte and it left at 5 a.m. And we sat around in the airport for like an hour, maybe, hour and some change, and then we worked charlotte to san antonio and that flight felt long the crowd was really cool though they were really chill they were nice people they were all turning it up all of first class i'm working first class i'm pretty sure i told y'all that 
they were coming down here for vacation and going golfing and whatnot. But crazily enough, today is the very first day of Fiesta. So apparently it's supposed to get wild or crazy or something. So I don't know. My sister, I just asked her. Okay, my sister's an esthetician. She's licensed. And I just asked her, what's your rate for like, doing a facial and she was like it depends on the type of facial and I'm like girl I want glass skin tomorrow okay she's like $70 and in my head I'm like girl I got 20 and a good laugh or two okay but yeah <laughs> I'm starting to get very sleepy I'm also starting to kind of shut down a little bit so I think I may take like a 30 minute nap or just like rest my body for 30 minutes because y'all I worked out hard yesterday and I never really just fully recovered because I never went to sleep so yeah I'm starting to feel it in my bones and stuff and my muscles so I think I'm gonna go ahead take a 30 minute nap get up go work out and then just see where the night takes me okay but that's the glamorous life of a flight attendant right now because I could potentially go to Fiesta, which I think I may end up doing. I need to text my other sister to let her know I'm down here. But yeah, I think that that might be the move tonight. We'll see. I never even showed y'all the room. So let me do that real quick. This isn't the room we've been staying at or I've stayed at recently. Every time I've had this layover, I've stayed here like once. But let me show y'all the room real quick. And you know, I already talked about having a little facial. Oh, uh, that sounds bad. Oh. Uh, <laughs> having an esthetician come and give me a facial so you know she's here and we're gonna do it and you know i'm gonna record it and y'all gonna see what's going on okay so room tour we have this little coffee situation for Jurator setup bathroom the shower is amazing if i zoom in this copari the copari body wash it smells good. Anyway, here's the bathroom. We love it when the time is in the mirror because homegirl loses track of time. Here's a little closet situation. Here's a mirror and me. Really big TV. I have two queen size beds, a ring light that I brought. <laughs> Desk, I had two chairs over here, but the esthetician is going over there. And I have a view right here of the river walk. So yeah, it's nice, we love this. So yeah, as a flight attendant one night, I'm in Dallas drinking cheap wine from Walmart and the next day I'm in a luxurious hotel getting a facial by a professional. And it's like, we love that because my skin and me been beefed out and I don't like that. So yeah, I'm gonna post y'all somewhere over here. I just wanted to come on here and show y'all like 
my skin looks so much better than what it did like all my major pimples that i had like i had some up here they're like down i had two big ones right here and they're going down she snapped and i love that i'm about to turn the camera off though because this is too invasive like i'm just gonna wash her face now <laughs> and i had snooze a couple times so yeah this is what the face ended up looking like I didn't do makeup because I didn't give myself time to do makeup. So all I did is eyeliner and brows. We have three legs. We do San Antonio to Charlotte and then we do like a Florida turn. I have no idea where the turn in Florida is to, but I will pick y'all up when I get to the plane. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't tell y'all this last night. I went to sleep around nine o'clock. Like I was in the bed by 8.30 and it was amazing. I did just check and we go San Antonio, Charlotte. The flight time is two hours and 22 minutes. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. As of now, we're keeping the plane all day. Charlotte to Fort Lauderdale. We only have an hour to sit in between, which is basically like 20 minutes if you count, not even 20, if you count boarding and deplaning. But I should be walking into the hotel, hopefully around four. That's what you're thinking. The FAA is on board for the pilots. And that's pretty much it. Hi, how are you? Marvelous, how are you? I'm good, I'm Ty. Just to let you know, the FAA is on board for y'all. It's a beautiful day. He's walking around the plane now, no, so. <laughs> Just thought I'd warn you. Well, we've been we, here to the second or third. Yeah, thanks. No problem. Um, I don't know how many, like I said, I don't care, but. You don't care. 225 to Charlotte. Okay. I haven't looked at the weather yet. I haven't looked at the plane yet. Mm -hmm. 65 degrees, cloudy Charlotte. We've got an ultra of Greensboro. What do you guys do after Charlotte? Or at Lauderdale Turn. Y'all with us all day? Yeah, we go the same plane all day, right? As long as he doesn't hate us. You shouldn't. You seem okay. As soon as I get a chance to eat some things, I'll come back and talk to you about the airplane. Thank you. Ride. Okay. All right, guys. I'm in my hotel. I just got here. And I just went up, well I didn't just get here, I got here about an hour, not, not even an hour, maybe 30, 40 minutes ago. But I took a shower, I washed my face, all the things. I just wanna say this, this is so funny. This whole trip, I really picked this trip up for like two reasons, three maybe. One, I was trying to show y'all how glamorous my life can be, which honestly, I haven't even really done anything on the layover. I just haven't complained, which I love that. I haven't complained. I don't think I complained at all, actually. One, on paper, it really, really is easy. And even in real life, it's not as hard, but today, I'm gonna tell y'all, I was tired today. Like back to back to back, that's usually what I want, but uh, I was tired, y'all, just tired. Two, we get back early on day three, which I love. If I can ever get back to base and be done with the trip and it's still light outside, it's a win for me. A win is a win, and that, my friend, is a win. Third thing, layover times aren't horrible. Like, this layover I'm on now is obviously way shorter than the layover I had yesterday, but we still had a good, decent size layover yesterday, so it balanced it out. Last thing, which I think is so funny, I picked this trip up, y'all, because I knew, I knew the hotels were gonna be nice. I looked at the hotels, I thought I did. Well, for San Antonio, I didn't look at the hotel, because recently we've only been staying at the one that I've stayed at the past couple times. It was like a curveball that they threw me in the one I was in yesterday. But today, y'all, this hotel is nice and I'm gonna show y'all the best part of the room. But I thought we was at the other hotel where I showed y'all the man when I was in the gym and he was like opening his blinds up and he was naked. I don't know if you can see the naked person right there. <laughs> he got abs. Oh, and he's raising it back down. <laughs> I thought that's where we was at because that hotel is so nice and sleek. This hotel is still nice too. But it's just so funny. I picked this trip up literally because the hotels and I'm not in either one of the ones I usually stay in. <laughs> but yeah, so today was long. We did, as you know, San Antonio, Charlotte, Charlotte, Fort Lauderdale, and then back to Charlotte. Y'all, I gotta write a report because this lady fell getting off the plane and I I jumped in as quick as I could. It was like going in slow motion, but I wasn't looking until after the fact she was like almost touching the ground and I was trying to grab her, but I couldn't because yeah, I don't even know. It was a hot mess. It wasn't a hot mess. I just felt bad. I felt really bad actually. But yeah, so lady fell. I got tipped $20. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know, this is a good trip. I keep getting tips and I love that for me. It's just been a really chill trip. The crew is really cool, like they're hilarious. My favorite person on the crew, I think may have to be the, the most senior. He's like Southern, older, like South Carolina Southern. So he's just like a old church boy. And like you can hear, I can I can only imagine what his mama was like from how he talks and stuff. It's just so funny to me. But yeah, I'm about to eat though. I'm watching my Lottery Dream House and I'm so excited because I've been looking forward to just sitting in a hotel room, watching my Lottery Dream House. The only thing that would make it better is if I had some wine, but it's fine. Let me show y'all the best part of this room though. You see that? Right there, best part of the room. I do not have to leave it at Oh, and I love that for me. Hi guys, it's my favorite day. It's go home day. And I'm wrapping everything up inside of the room. Last night, I went to sleep like early. And then I ended up waking up. I went to sleep before the new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race came on. I woke up and it was going off. And I think over here it came on at like eight. So I was asleep pretty early. And then I ended up waking up around, I think maybe 9.30ish. I don't know why. I just ended up waking up. Oh wait, let me take off these shoes. Not that I was gonna go out like this. <laughs> we only have two flights today. We go from Charlotte to Orlando. That flight is probably gonna be like an hour and 15 minutes, so very short. So I'll have a snack basket in. It's in the morning, so people more than likely won't want anything, hopefully. And then after that, we do not have a sit, which I'm so happy about. And we go to Dallas. And he gets us. Then I will be apparently commuting home. So we'll try and commute home. We'll see what's going on. Hopefully people misconnect and I can get on this flight at two something. Because we're, we get back by 11 something p.m. I mean AM. I will see y'all in Dallas after I've gotten home. I'm so excited. Okay. We're delayed on go home day. I love that for me. I'm sleepy, so I'm gonna take a nap since we deplane the plane. Y'all, uh, we're delayed. We had to deplane, but Manus is time on saying that we had we're ready to reboard, but they still have some stuff to do. So we're delayed. We're falling behind. There's a lot of cruisers on our flight. And go home day too, it's so funny. One of my crew members says she made plans. I'm like, this is your fault. And the pilot, the captain, he was like, there's nothing wrong with this plane. The whole brakes are out. Y'all, we still haven't left. It's 9.10, our new departure was supposed to be at nine o'clock. Now we're not supposed to get back to Dallas until like one something. My commuter flight leaves at two something. And there's weather in Dallas, so crossing my fingers, I make it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all what happened when we get to what I know. Four thousand. We'll see. This will be a quick turn. We're delayed again in another place. Y'all, we left from Charlotte after we were delayed there. Got to Orlando and now we're delayed going into Dallas. But now it's a five hour delay. Which means I might time out. Which means I ain't going to work. I'm tired, boss. Y'all, I was too excited to go home because y'all, <laughs> weather in Dallas is so bad. There's now a five hour delay that we have before we can potentially leave. That's what air traffic control told the pilots. However, they keep rolling our, our departure time. So now it's at three something, but the gag is, as Kiki Palmer would say, the pilots time out at like 324. We time out at 520 something. So, if it really is the departure time that the pilots were given by by ATC, then we, we've timed out for the day, which means I will be staying in Orlando, and I won't be going home today. <laughs> it's so funny. And I'm not mad, I just wanted to go home, but it's fine because I'll have to replace my day off. So yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. I'm about to warm up some food and scroll on TikTok because there's nothing else at this point I can do. So yeah, that's it. If anything else happens and we end up leaving earlier, I will for sure let y'all know. Guys, <laughs> we're not going home. We're not going home at all. The flight cancel. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> There's no update to our schedule yet. They waited until the pilots timed out, which was at 3.26. And 
So yeah, we timed out technically at 5.48. So we're done. We're done. Right now I'm on hold trying to get a hold of the people who do our hotel and limos. And I'm cleaning my bowl because I ate earlier. Eventually they'll kick us off the plane. I'm gonna hit y'all up whenever we get around because I'm gonna go in the back and sit down with the crew. I just washed my bowl, so I'm done with that. I'll let y'all know what ends up happening. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a hotel room like what <laughs> so so much happened I don't remember the last time I talked to y'all I think we had deplaned again and we were waiting because it was weather in Dallas I think that was the last time I spoke with y'all yeah so there was weather in Dallas and um there was a ground hold of at first 30 minutes and then the ground hold got extended to five hours so we went ahead and deplaned and we were just waiting around and we were trying to hopefully we were hoping that we would leave before the pilots ended up timing out well like a couple hours after that the pilots ended up timing out around 2 30 something i think 226 225 ish once they timed out they went ahead and canceled the flight and then we left the airport and just hang out outside of security because if you've ever been to Orlando Airport they have like a huge huge sitting area and food court outside of security with a whole bunch of Disney shops and stuff so we hung out out there for a while until I got in contact with scheduling or tracking and then they basically got us a room eventually and yeah the time is now five 526 and we literally I literally just walked into the room. I ran into a classmate from my old airline like it's so crazy I've been running into people from my old airline lately and it's so hilarious to me And he's doing so well and he still loves working there and his seniority is beyond great today was interesting It was so funny. The crew is a vibe. We have been laughing and giggling and just shooting the shit all day okay and it's been hilarious tomorrow morning i have the earliest wake up call i have to be up by 2 30 so we're back on the extremely early wake up calls the only difference is tomorrow i am not working the flight i'm deadheading i have a good seat and yeah as soon as i get to dallas i'm going to run off the plane and run to my commuter city and that'll be that and or to the to the flight for my commuter city and that'll be that because the weather in Dallas apparently even right now is at its worst. It's horrible. This is the luxurious or glamorous life of a flight attendant, guys. Okay. <laughs> My plans for tonight have been fumbled. Anyways, I'll see y'all if anything else happens today, though. Hopefully, I'm sure nothing else will happen tonight. But in the event, you know, I'll pick y'all up. Our flight to Dallas canceled. <laughs> It canceled around midnight, uh, probably a little bit later, around 11 something. I was like this close to falling asleep and all I heard was my phone just dinging, dinging, dinging. So I looked and um, it was a group chat and they were saying the flight canceled. So I was on the phone last night waiting to talk to tracking yesterday for an hour. And then they updated our schedule to where we're now leaving out on the 7 o'clock flight instead of the 5 o'clock flight to Dallas. However, the flight just delayed 30 minutes because the weather, all that weather was, that was in Dallas yesterday, it's traveling, obviously. And so, yeah, it's traveling. <laughs> so, so, hopefully, we still leave at 7.30. And not any time later than that. Morning, I'm ready to go home, okay? I'm ready to go home. They canceled the 8 o'clock flight. So, <laughs> oh goodness! But Ara is apparently still trying to trying to go. If they cancel this one, I hope it's before I leave this room. Or if we end up at the airport and I cancel this flight, and our next flight is more than five hours, four hours, I'm gonna get a day room, guys. And I'm gonna request it at my favorite hotel, and I'll post it at the pool all day, okay? <laughs> at some point, it becomes hilarious. At every point. Either way, though, guys, I'm not mad. I'm on reserve. If I if this was my line month, I would probably be like, no, I want to go home because on your line month, they go into your off days. Guess what, bud? You don't get those off days back. However, 
if it goes into another trip, you're pay protected. So like two of my crew members is their line mom. And oh, I feel like I'm forgetting to step. No. Two of my crew members is their line mom and they both had trips backed up with the one that we've been on. Well, they're obviously not gonna make it because they're still not back in base. So their trip would have started today. They're not gonna make it. So they're pay protected. Me, however, today was supposed to be my off day. So they will, schedule will have to give me my off day back because I'm getting flown into this. Also though, we can't fly more than six days in a row. So today is my sixth day, technically. Granted, I haven't flown six days straight, but if I'm scheduled like six days on call, I can't, I can't do anything that seventh day. So tomorrow, if we don't get back by tomorrow, they for sure have to deadhead me home. They have to get me home. Hi guys, it's Editing Future Ty. I just need to close out this glamorous life of a flight attendant vlog and let y'all know what ended up happening. So we did end up leaving around 7.30, which I was so so happy about we got to Dallas in great timing however my commuter flight kept delaying and delaying and delaying because there was a mechanical situation and it also was a regional flight so me and the random flight attendant who commutes the same city I do however she worked for regional I worked for mainline we both decided to fly to a nearby airport and then I had somebody pick us up and take us back to our commuter city airport that way she can get her car and then we can go about our lives sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get home and we did what we had to do and I was happy we did that because by the time we ended up landing in that city that was like 45 minutes to an hour away, the flight that we was going to take that kept delaying still hadn't left yet. So it was a great choice on our part. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the life of a gl or the glamorous life of a flight attendant. Y'all, I really can say filming this video with hilarious filming this vlog was great and even on my next trip after this one i didn't complain that much i think i just really needed a reset of you know appreciating the job for what it is and that being that just appreciating the job for what it is and you know i very much so did that and in the next vlog that you'll end up seeing i really very much so appreciated the job for what it is so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. I look like this because I have work tonight, and so I'm gonna take a nap because it's a red eye. But I will see y'all in the next one. All right, okay, bye.